still on parliamentary issues, the National Peace Council is today defending its silence on the matters relating to the no representation in parliament for citizens in the South area. Speaking to the media on the sidelines of a 2020 election reflection series organized by the council, board chairman of the Peace Council, Reverend NS Dr. Edu Jenfi, said their silence on such issues were the results of background consultations and dealings with the institutions to address such issues. Uh, Kweku Asante joins us live uh, with more on this. Kweku, uh, exactly what form of consultations have the Peace Council been having, uh, which they speak of at this news conference? Right, Ernest. So according to the board chairman of the National Peace Council, they've been talking to the Peace Council for a while now about this particular issue. And it's not necessarily that they are silent on all the issues that are, are happening with regards to the South constituencies. And so according to the, 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 the Peace Council chairman, the board chairman, uh, the Peace, uh, the Electoral Commission, I beg your pardon, has assured them that they are going to lay before parliament the CI that will create the new constituency for the South areas. But of course, we all know that even if these constituencies are created at this point in time, they will not come into effect under this parliament because of rules that say that if that is done, the parliament or the seat that is created should take effect in the next parliament. And so it will be left to see how much justice this will be for the people of South areas. But um, the Peace Council chair, who, uh, whose council had come under some criticisms for not, talking to, for not talking about some of these issues, has been saying that for them, they don't see the media or press conferences and press releases as the only way to deal with issues of national consent. And so for most times, what they do is to deal in the background with some of these institutions who are involved and ensure that they find out the right ways to deal with the minister. Did they say if they've been engaging the residents themselves because there have been agitation in some parts of those areas uh, with a number of protests, did they say if they've been engaging them? Right. That, that, that aspect did not come up. Uh, the board chairman did not say that. But given what he's just been saying, we probably suggest that they've been doing some background conversations. They've been having some background conversations with the people. I, I, I don't know about that yet, but I think even if something of that sort had gone on, the, the SAL leaders would have come out to say that. But the SAL areas leaders have maintained that a grave injustice has been done to them, that the eighth parliament will conclude its lifetime without anyone representing their interest or representing the kind of thing that matters to them. But according to the uh, the, 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 the Well, we lost that feed there from my colleague, Kweku Asante, but essentially the Peace Council has been engaging uh, to make sure that the issues of cell are addressed.